Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Vibatsu and today we will learn a few details about the geometry feature and the dimension. So let us first add a 2D component. To do that, you go to home, click on add component and click on 2D component. Now after you add a 2D component, just go on to geometry, click on sketch. If it is already checked, then click on the sketch tab and just draw a few geometries. So at first, let us draw a circle. It could be out of uh, any radius, it doesn't matter because this is just for demonstration purpose. And what we will do, we will draw another circular arc. So it says start, center and angle. So this is start, center and the angle. So let us end the curve here. Just right click, click on finish circular arc. What this will do? it will end the arc at that point where you clicked uh, and right clicked uh, to finish the curve. Okay, so now we have this curve. Now, if you go back to geometry and uncheck the sketch, you see that you have an open curve here. We'll again go back to sketch. Now, let us draw a polygon to finish this curve. So, we can draw something like this. Again, right click click on finish polygon now again if i go back to geometry you see that we again have an open curve and it is not a solid here so what we will do here uh, is that we'll go on to sketch now click on the circular arc now press uh, shift and click on the other curve now the two curve is selected when the two curves are selected, you will see that the composite curve tab will open up. Now, if you click on the composite curve, the two uh, circular arc and the polygon will be inside the composite curve. Now, if you click on build all, nothing much will happen. But if you go to composite curve and then click on solid and then click on build all object, you'll see that the curve will get converted to solid. Now, in the sketch, we'll click on the sketch tab. Now we have the sketch feature open. Now what we'll do, uh, we will try to calculate the distance, direction, angle, position, radius and so on, just like we do in SOLIDWORKS. So here in this tab, you will see that there is a dimension tab. Now what you can do is that uh, you can click on the dimension. Now if you click on this radius, you will see that the radius will show up here uh, in the uh, graphic window itself. For example, if you want to calculate the distance, for example, you want to calculate the distance between these two centers. So you click on this point, click on this point, and then just move your mouse and you will see that you will have the distance uh, shown here between the two point, right? Uh, if you have worked on other like modeling tools, other CAD tools, uh, you might have seen this kind of uh, dimensions. So uh, this is very useful. Uh, you don't have to manually check the parameters. You can just visually see what are the values. Similarly, you can calculate the X distance, Y distance and so on. Uh, you can also calculate the total edge length. So if you click on total edge length and just click on here, just drag your mouse, you see that the value is 1.17. So this is 1.17 meter. Okay. And also you can calculate the angle. So let's say I want to know the angle between these two lines. So you can just move your mouse, click and it will show up the angle between the two lines. Right. Similarly, uh, obviously, like you can always uh, check the radius. So I have the radius here and also the position. So what position does is that uh, you can just select a point maybe you can zoom in select a point and click somewhere else let's say here now it will calculate the position of that point so just click on build all now if you click on this point you see that automatically this point get highlighted right so this is how you can get the coordinate 
and uh, this is not the only feature that is there uh, I'll just click on zoom extends now one of the most uh, beautiful thing about this is that uh, you can create parameters from this what I mean by this is let's say you have this angle and you want to create a parameter from this angle uh, then you can have the parameter name so that uh, you can use this angle uh, in your model so what basically is now for example if you want the value of this angle in your model let's say you are working on a model where the angle all the or the edge length or some other radius parameter is dependent on some physics you can use the value of this parameter and uh, do different analysis so similarly you can create for radius as well uh, you can create for other parameters like position distance and so on uh, just click on build all and now you see that we all have different parameter name for each of the dimension in the model okay so this is a very powerful feature in the software i hope that uh, you will use it for your modeling purpose so now let us go back to the geometry so we are here in the geometry now one other feature in the dimension in the 2d geometry is that you can make a selection and calculate the uh, values of the shape for example if i go to explicit selection and select the circle okay uh, let us build our object now if i click on measure you will see that uh, the software will pop up the area and the parameter of the domain uh, automatically using the measure feature okay uh, i'm not sure if it does for all other shapes so let me select unusual shape and click on measure yeah it also calculates the area and the parameter for other shapes as well so you might also use this feature for example you have some kind of a nanoparticle and uh, your physics depends on the area and the parameter etc of the geometry then uh, you might uh, use this feature and uh, in the other way around is use the sketch feature and here use the parameter values to directly get the angle length of the edge perimeter etc uh, so that you can use that in your model and also it is very useful if you want to keep a record of the dimension that is there in your geometry I hope this video helped you. If it does, uh, please do give a like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps. And if you want to check out our courses on Comsol Multiphysics, it is there in the link in the description below. So yeah, have a nice day ahead.